this is our this is our talent of tonight that that will put me to shame. So I call it Magic Mike, and he's carrying a mic, and I've got a mic. We've got enough mics, so have a nice warm welcome for Mike. show, and there's one or two out of, uh, of you out here, uh, know that I usually work with an assistant, but on the way in tonight, my assistant got into a little bit of a car accident, and so she couldn't be here tonight. She's okay. She wasn't hurt, but she was driving down the road and saw a pine tree coming at her, so she swerved and saw another pine tree, swerved again and saw another pine tree, swerved again and saw another pine tree. Pretty soon, she was rolling over in the ditch. And then the cop told her, but you dummy, that was your air freshener. <laughs> Listen, folks, they're not going to get any better. Not at all. They said I was a magician, not a comedian. But we're going to get started with, uh, has anybody got a hanky? Anybody got a hanky? That's too bad. Tim, you got a little something to hang out. Thanks. No problem. We're going to start with a trick that I just love to do. It's one of my favorites. It's called the linking hangers. And I bought them already linked, so that's going to save us a hell of a lot of time. Oh, man. Did you put that in there? I did. These lights are hot. They told me we were going to be outside, so I dressed up really warm. And uh, now I'm sweating like a pig. So let's let's get started with the real part of the show. I need three men, and I'm going to use you just because, even though you're not a real man. I'm going to. Use you. Paul, I'm going to have you take the long rope. Yeah. Actually, no, what? No, you're not. Let's give the long rope to Tim. <laughs> who obviously does not play baseball. <laughs> and we're going to give the medium-sized rope to Patrick, because he's sitting there. You get the that one. So, I want you to check the ropes, make sure they're solid, no magnets, no holes, nothing like that in there. Perfect. Tim, would you please stand up? Hold up your rope, and with a loud and proud voice, say, I have a long one. I have a long one! All right, perfect. Patrick, why don't you stand up? Hold it up, say loud and proud. I have a medium-sized one. I have a medium-sized one. Perfect. Perfect. Yes, I know where this means Paul. <laughs> Hold the rope up loud and proud and say, size does not matter. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. I appreciate that. I always like how long the rope is and how you tie the knot. Yes. Oh. That's right. That's right. So we're gonna do a little move right now. It's called the Boy Scout Crossover. Anyone know what the Boy Scout Crossover is? Nope. That's where the Boy Scout becomes a Girl Scout. <laughs> Like I said, they don't get any better. <laughs> so, Paul, stand up again, because you're not done. That's what you get for volunteering. <laughs> Just, I want you to touch, make sure they're regular ropes, and turn your head and talk. <laughs> About half of you got that joke. <laughs> the other half of you will get it on the way home. You can sit back down. Really? Yeah, yeah I'm done. No. I promise. Oh, so what we did is we, we had our different size ropes. And I like to tell a story that, you know, we're all made in God's image. But we're all just a little bit different. Some of us are tall, some of us are short, some of us are thin, some of us are maybe a little wider, some are young, some are a little more seasoned. We're all different, but yet when we trust in God, we all become the same, different. Paul, I 
saw you messing in my case before the show started. <laughs> what did you do? Just yeah, because you can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is why I paid Paul the big bucks. <laughs> That's what I did. I touched the long one. I'm not used to that. <laughs> wow, got a bunch of comedians in the audience today. All right, now, so like I said, if you trust in God, He can make us all the same in His image. Very nice. You. So, you know, it's not always good for us all to be the same, it's good for us to be different. Can you imagine how boring this world would be? If all of us were the same, we all had the same ideas, we all looked the same, we all did the same things. So God, in his infinite wisdom, made all of us, and each of us, separate and different. Well, that went well. So, normally I do some kids shows, and there's not a lot of kids here, so... I think I'm going to bring up, you know what, Angelie, where is she? Or Trisha, I, Trisha's on the end, come on up here. That's what happens when you come to my show and I know you. <laughs> Trisha's going to be my kid. Yeah, let's hear it for Trisha. Come on up, Trisha. Trisha, and I can't pronounce your last name, so I'm just going to say it's Trisha Nelson, because that's what you used to be. Well, now it's Ladenia. Yeah, so like I said, it's Trisha Nelson. <laughs> Trisha, do you know your colors? I hope? Okay, all right, good. So what I want you to do is, what color is this? Yellow. Perfect. Hold on to the yellow one. What color is this? Red. Good. Like the purple suit? Somebody said this was my... Uh, color blindness test. <laughs> color is that? White. Well, that's clear, but we'll call it white for now. And what color is that? Black. Perfect. All right. So, what I'm going to have you do, this is my shake, rattle, and roll box. So, we're going to do a little shake, rattle, and roll today. So, what I want you to do is take the white one, drop it right in the box there. Mmm. Take the white one, drop it in the box, take the red one, drop it in the box, take the yellow one, drop it in the box. You're doing good. Have you done this before? No. Black one? Perfect. Now, this is where you come in. You gotta do a little shake, rattle, and roll. Do I have to do that? Yes. <laughs> but you know what? I think we need a magic wand first. Hang on. I have a magic wand. Where did I put it? Here it is. <laughs> hey, when you need it, it's magic. <laughs> okay, so we're going to shake, rattle, and roll. And you're going to... Yeah, come on now. Shake, rattle, and roll. There you go. Got, that wasn't supposed to happen. Do it one more time. Okay. This is just time to this. Oh my gosh. Woo! <laughs> Way too much shake, rattle, and rolling going on. Let's try something different because this isn't working real well. We're going to get out the magic bag and we're going to put my hand in here just to prove that there's nothing in there. Okay? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, look in there, you put your hand in there, make sure there's nothing in there. <laughs> nothing in there? I'll prove it. There's nothing in there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take all of these colored handkerchiefs. Oh, I just had one for you, Tim. <laughs> Too late now. It's on your shoulder. <laughs> okay, so what I want you to do is take the magic wand, wave it over the bag, and say, we need a magic word. Somebody give me a magic pineapple. word. Pineapple. Pineapple. Say pineapples on three. One, two, three. Pineapple. pineapple. Now, does anyone here have a birthday this year? <laughs> <laughs> One over there. Okay, 
so what we're going to do, there's only one in there, but, wow, we have combined all the colors to say happy birthday. You can leave now, Trisha. Okay. Let's hear it for Trisha. Trisha, brave soul that she is. I need a young lady. Angel. Right here. This one. Angel? Is that who they said? Come on up here, Angel. Perfect. Angel, Angel, Angel. Okay, so Angel, how old are you? 14. You're 14. Wow. Excellent. Are you married? Yes. Wow. <laughs> this is Iosco County after all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee whiz. All right. All right, so Angel is 14 years old. We're going to do a mind reading trick. You know, it, uh, Paul, wherever he went. He, he said he was a mentalist. I actually, well, I'm not either, but I teach it. And so I have one of my protégés here tonight who's going to do some mind reading for us. And you're going to meet him in just a minute. But do you believe in mind reading? So you're married then, is what you're saying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going <laughs> to two people? Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to introduce you to my friend, Caesar, the mind reading orange. He is going to read your mind. Okay? And, but first, we got to give him something to read. Okay, so he's not real good with.